Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the 7th to the 13th of September. I'm using the Transparent Tarot. It's nothing like it uh, has ever been seen by me before and it's actually great fun. You're going to get a 12 card spread plus three oracle cards so stay tuned and let's see what the story is for you we start off with the knight that's kn the knight of swords and that means that you might be meeting a gemini a libra or an aquarian they might be bringing in the news but it could be anybody this news could be um, official news as well the news most probably will come through cyber an email a text message or a telephone call or a fax or even with airmail paper if that still exists this news could be about uh, more information in judicial cases this could be information that your reservation is going through it could be anything it could also be that you are accepted in a college or a university as the schools are opening up as well or there might be news that the curriculum is changing slightly but you will be receiving news on Monday the 7th on Wednesday we have the two of rods the two of wands so you are making plans for the future perhaps forming partnerships with somebody as you've got two people coming together on Friday we have the six of 
pentacles gift and take if you are not that fortunate you will be receiving a gift from a fortunate person this could be money this could be um, uh, a listening ear or a helping hand but you could be the more fortunate one giving to the less fortunate you might be giving a helping hand or giving a listening ear to somebody that needs your advice or a gift of money at the weekend we have the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is looking towards um, the six of pentacles and so there will be news perhaps that you are receiving news on Friday um, that you are receiving a gift on Friday these two cards at this moment I feel this could the weekend card could be also news on Friday okay that you will receive or that you have received money in your bank account if you've applied for a loan for example but you could also be n um, meeting up with a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn Cancer and the swords is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius now let's have a look at what the second layer is going to be and we have the three of wands so this could be news about plans coming together forming a partnership you're going up from a two to a three and here we have a un un union sorry about my English here we have union union so you might get news from one of your partners if this is in business or this could be a third party because there's three a third party an institution municipality municipality could like I said the knight of one of swords is officiality could be from an institution that you could be receiving news then you have the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is hanging above you that is coming in L uh, a money money a gift a grant uh, 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 perhaps you have applied for a loan of some kind that money is coming in you are partnering up with most probably a municipality or an institution like a bank and signing the contracts for you are making plans for the future and they're coming to fruition because the 10 is an ending and a new beginning then we have the nine of swords you don't really want um, to owe money to anybody um, but if you're give, getting a gift then you're not owing, owing any money at all so don't have sleepless nights as you have the nine of swords your worries are over somebody is helping you don't worry a nine is an ending as well and it is a new beginning so don't worry somebody's helping you perhaps this person that's helping you will be your partner it could be even a sleeping partner as we have the seven of cups the seven of cups is that dr you have dreams you have dreams and plans make your dreams and plans come true don't worry you might be getting news that your dreams and plans are coming true because somebody's stepping in there's no need to worry that is beautiful you might even have a, um, a grown-up giving you um, money a gift of money that um, and they will say right I'll be your partner and I won't mind my business in yours but I will help you and be there if you need a helping hand now we're going on to the third layer okay and we have the strength card and this is what the strength card looks like it's number 11 so the angels have your back look at this 
together you stand strong you are in your strength perhaps you are the one like I said carrying the torch and other people are uniting with you your plans are coming to fruition you've been too much up in your head but your head are strong thoughts and those strong thoughts have come into the material world through your own action through your own strength you've had the patience look at this gentle hand that has tamed the panther or the lion but the panther in this case patience 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 is virtuous and it will stand you in good stead in business so amazing you've been doing things quickly and you've thought them through and are coming to fruition you are in your ultimate strength your ideas will make money the money is lying here in partnerships you most probably will be the strength in the in this partnership okay then you have the moon and here you can see the third eye showing you that the moon means intuition the strength card is a Leo so you've got a Leo in here you've got a lot of fire in your reading and also pentacles and two swords but you've got three pentacles so you are rooted the, um, the earth means that you are stable you're standing on your own two feet perhaps with a sleeping partner or you are um, a, uh, the wisest of them all because of the um, air sign the air knight he will fight for, for truth and he does things by the letter by the letter of the law you've been strong enough to endure the patience before your plans could come to fruition so you've gone the the you've gone uh, come a long way and now they're coming to fruition it is also bringing in money it's also bringing in the an ending to worries okay brilliant and there's a new beginning now what is happening in the new beginning the new beginning means listen to your intuition look at the moon the moon keep your um, be aware of your intuition keep an open eye like your third eye okay listen to your gut feeling um, be true to your own sign because the moon is Pisces but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio you are very sensitive signs and you might be uh, highly sensitive now because we've just had the full moon so listen to um, your uh, solar plex your ideas you've done that and it's brought you far okay and also use your intuition and the new ideas that you might see in dreams or if in your meditative or contemplative state when you take the 10 minutes in the morning and the 10 minutes at night to think things through just gently and let them come in you are the, the moon is also in a spotlight okay so you are in the spotlight you are being noticed you might be noticed by a Leo or a Pisces you are on the right path because the moon shines light on your path to the northern note your northern note that is your goal your wish you're on the right path listen to your intuition and there might be some things that you're not seeing because you've also got a dark side of the moon look at the purple around the moon so you need to do some more research perhaps you might need to seek a license an official license perhaps that could be the news that you are operating not lawfully so you need to get a license and get it done because you are now earning money and once you start earning money you'll have to start paying taxes okay don't worry about it it will be okay 
and then we've got one of the most beautiful cards in the deck we've got the phoenix and in this deck it is depicted as the phoenix and it is number 20 it is judgment you are rising from the ashes you have nothing to worry about because look at the wings you can spread your wings now you can expand your business the worries are over you've had support in the past or perhaps now and now you can pay it back like I said if you are more fortunate you will be paying some unfortunate person you will give a helping hand because you had that in the past you are rising from the ashes there is a new beginning because you've got tens uh, like the ten of pentacles you do have the phoenix a beginning or a second chance and you also have your plans coming to fruition awesome okay cancer we have the nine of cups and that is the wish card and that is your last card and that is at the weekend it think, seems that everything is happening to to you at the weekend powerful stuff Friday Saturday and Sunday you might be celebrating at the weekend because your wishes come true this is the nine of cups nine of cups these figures are small you've been dreaming about this moment and it is coming true you are celebrating at the weekend Wow so you've come up from seven from dreaming about it to actually fulfilling it and that is the news there you go so that is your story for this week listen to your intuition stay in your strength by meditating you will hear um, that your plans are coming to fruition and that you are rising from the ashes if you've been down that unfortunate road by being unfortunate okay you will be fortunate again now the answer of the angels is if you believe if you believe then we have the angel card the light blue angel feather card break the silence if there is a um, a partnership with three people three can be a crowd I think you are going to break free from this situation your plans are coming that's what the three of ones means plans coming together but I think you'll be partnering up with one person either uh, emotionally or because of the moon or in business perhaps you didn't know there was a third party and you're finding that out boom you're using your psychability break the silence the angels would like to assist you with a sensitive communication that is required at this moment in time fight for what you believe if you believe it can this is the second chance <laughs> I hadn't even seen that that's silly Billy me okay and your sh time to shine card is life nine of life time to relax enjoy some little luxuries take time for yourself there you go beautiful just relax you can relax at the end of the week because your dreams are coming true most probably already on Friday so don't be anxious don't have sleepless nights give your stress or worries to the divine and the angels and you will be fine everything will be resolved take care and believe and be blessed and have a beautiful week ciao ciao please share and like